Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kurai, host on Tech Digest, and this is our exclusive review of the Huawei Ascend P7 for India. The Huawei Ascend P7 is launching by end of November, and this is our first review in which we are going to give you a comprehensive test and review of the Huawei Ascend P7, which is a premium smartphone from Huawei. In this video review, we are going to talk about everything that you need to know, including design, build quality, box contents under the hood and sim options what all you get with the phone we are going to talk about the audio playback and the video playback quality camera test gaming and benchmark test we are going to give you a call quality test internet browsing experience software and some special features of this phone which includes uh, nfc tags which have been included so without further ado let's get started i'll start with the box contents that you get with this phone so First thing in the box is the phone itself and I have taken out everything else so this is a standard data cable pretty good in quality a wall charger which is a fast charger you have a sim ejector tool which is used to eject the sim card tray as well as the memory card tray there is 3.5 mm earphones which come with inline microphone and button to accept or reject the call and these earphones are good in quality these are not in the ear types uh, rubber finish but these are metallic mesh with rubber coating on the outside somewhat like the first generation iPhone earphones and they are pretty good in quality. You also get two NFC tags and I'll show you the demonstration of the same in a while. They actually uh, help you enable home mode and driving mode just by a tap of the tag on the phone. It's a very nifty feature. You get uh, documentation and warranty manuals. This is all that you get with the phone. Let me now talk about the design and build quality. This phone shouts premium everywhere this is a very slim phone at 6.5 millimeters this is not the slimmest in the world but still it is very stylish and very slim it weighs around 124 gram which is not very heavy it has a beautiful 5 inch display thin bezels on the sides as you can see there are no buttons on the bezel these are touch buttons within the display this is a full high definition display that it offers it has a very mighty 8 megapixel front facing uh, camera on top which gives you some superb selfies I'll show you that in a while in the camera section on the rear you get a 13 megapixel camera which comes with autofocus and flash in terms of design it gets metallic casing all around except for the bottom where it gets polycarbonate on the right hand side you get power wake up key in the middle followed by the volume rocker which is just on top of it and both are finished nicely in steel finish just below that you have two trays one is the micro sd card tray for expansion and other is the sim card tray and you get the sim ejection tool uh, bundled within the box to take out these tray and load the sim cards etc you also get a speaker mesh which is at the rear at, towards the bottom there are some regulatory information on this side the left side is totally clean and there is nothing here on top you get a standard audio port which is a 3.5 mm audio followed by secondary mic hole for noise cancellation and the bottom gets a standard charging port followed by the primary microphone hole. In terms of design and build this phone feels very solid in hand. It's fairly sleek and feels very sturdy and does look very premium in terms of design as well as the visual appeal. First and very important thing I'm gonna talk about here is the display quality. The contrasts as well as the color quality and production is really beautiful. The colors look very natural and vivid. Just to give you an idea of how good it is, I'm just gonna play a video that will also show you the loudness of the phone and also the video playback quality. So let me play this video for you. I'll just turn the volume to maximum so that you get an idea of how loud it is. One thing which you might have noticed is uh, when I place the phone on a flat surface, the speaker gets uh, slightly muffled and the sound gets uh, slightly lower. This is a minor flaw in design but uh, if you are watching video it is recommended that you keep it slightly elevated from the flat surface. It comes with a superb Dolby Digital Surround software so it gives some really good uh, surround audio effects and also the earphones provided I have tested them briefly and they produce good quality of sound so if you are watching videos or listening to music 
you can use the earphones provided or keep it at slight angles so that you get the best of the audio experience. Talking about the audio, let me quickly play an audio track for you to give you an idea of how loud the music plays from this phone. So there is one speaker provided at the rear which is fairly loud and it's very clear. The sound is crisp without any distortions and the audio levels are also fairly good and loud. The supplied earphones also work well. So when it comes to music consumption as well as the video playback quality, it is really impressive. Now let's test another very important factor which is the camera. So let me pull in some objects and I will take some pictures right in front of you. This is a 13 megapixel camera at the rear of this phone which is capable of uh, autofocus, touch to focus and taking some really sharp pictures. So let me touch on the object, take some pictures. The display is very very vivid here so whatever I'm clicking is looking really really beautiful and sharp on the screen. So this is uh, a capture which I have just taken and you can see the detailing in the image is just amazing. It's very sharp, very clear and it is doing a very good job when it comes to taking pictures. So in this one I have kept a close towards this object and this is the real object and this is the object on screen and you can see that the colors come out to be very close to natural and very very vivid. So you can compare the color production quality here and the display makes uh, things look very very alive. So the rear camera is fairly impressive. It can shoot in full high definition uh, videos. It can shoot high quality pictures. The menu and the options are fairly simple. You can also switch between some modes which have been provided here. You just need to tap here and you have smart select, beauty mode, panorama, HDR, audio control, best photo, watermark. So you have plenty of modes when it comes to camera and the camera UI gives you a transparent overlay. So while you are controlling your modes, you can quickly go back, compose and shoot. The front facing camera here is an 8 megapixel shooter which is uh, fairly uh, powerful. So let me just quickly take a selfie for you here and to give you an idea of how well it shoots. It gives you a 3 second timer before it shoots and the clarity in the picture is very good as you can see here. The detailing is very sharp and the beauty mode also reduces some blemishes on the skin. This is an 8 megapixel front facing camera that you have got here. Next we'll show you gaming performance and benchmarks. So I'll first play Subway Surf which is a very light game and then we'll play Frontline Commando 2. Just to give you an idea of how well uh, the graphic support is when it comes to gaming. I'll show you the benchmarks as well on N22 and Nina Mark 2. As you just saw the gaming was super smooth on the Huawei Ascent P7 and thanks to the high performance 1.8 GHz quad core Kirin CPU which powers this phone which gives it a good score of 29,000 on the N22 benchmark which proves that this phone is fairly loaded when it comes to gaming performance. It is a high performance CPU that it uses. It's a A9 architecture quad core high silicon CPU from Huawei only it comes with Mali 450 MP GPU has 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB internal memory you can expand the memory by adding a micro SD card uh, to this phone let me quickly show you the storage setting to give you an idea of how much exact space is available so the user available space is 11.66 GB when you purchase this phone right out of the box and I have installed some applications which is why it is showing me available space of 10. 4, 5 GB which is usually enough for most of the users but in case you need to add more multimedia to your phone you can always add a micro SD card and expand the memory as per your needs. When it comes to graphics performance it is fairly good and satisfactory and on Nina Mark 2 we tested this phone and and at full high definition it is giving us a score of 58.9 frames per second which is pretty good and suggests that it can play heavy games with ease.
Next, let me talk about the call quality and the signal reception on the Huawei Ascend P7. This phone is really impressive because it comes with 4G capability. So it is in fact future proof if you are buying this in India. You will get 4G capability whenever 4G rolls out. You can uh, use 4G networks on the same phone. I just took this screenshot when I inserted my SIM card. It gave me an error that this SIM card does not support 4G. Which means that there is inbuilt support for 4G which is by default on. You can keep it on or off. Also let me turn off the Wi-Fi to show you the 3G reception that we get here. So as you can see I am using a 3G HSDPA network here. And we are on Airtel Delhi network. It is showing full strength network and is giving good connectivity on HSDPA plus which is very good speed and let me also give you a call clarity test so I'll quickly dial uh, a number just to show you how loud and clear the audio is while in call this phone uses two microphones for noise cancellation there is one on top and one on bottom which is the primary mic So the voice is very very clear on this end and on the other end it will also be very clear because it uses active noise cancellation while in call. So when it comes to call quality signal reception there is no problem whatsoever the Wi-Fi reception 3G data reception as well as the signal reception is very very solid and strong on the Huawei Ascend P7. When it comes to internet browsing it comes with Google Chrome browser which comes pre-installed as well as there is a stock browser or the browser app which comes pre-installed. So you can use either of these. I'll quickly give you a browsing test on the default browser. I'll just open the intellect digest page. This is an image heavy website and takes some time to load but it is rendering quite okay here. There's no problem when it comes to uh, rendering of the website. The scrolling is slightly choppy so you can also try Chrome browser prob probably that's more optimized but the clarity of text and the readability on internet browser is very impressive here. You can pinch to zoom and the legibility on this 5 inch high definition display is very good. Let me also talk about the software and user interface that you get on the Huawei and P7. Right out of the box it comes with Android KitKat 4.4.2 which is not bad it is among the later versions or the newest versions that you get these days on phones you also get some very interesting features like uh, NFC functionality which has been integrated on a software level so you get two tags which come bundled within the box one is the home and other is the driving mode so you can actually program these tags as per your usage I have programmed these so I just need to tap the phone on these tags and it will enable certain modes. So right now this is home, made, home mode enabled where the Wi-Fi etc is turned on and the other one is driving mode in which uh, it will silence the phone and you know turn off uh, the Wi-Fi and turn on the Bluetooth etc. So there are different functions that you can set for different modes and you can select what to do on uh, of NFC tag functionality which is pretty cool. When it comes to the user interface it uses the emotion UI which is a flat UI so there is no app drawer here however you can create folders to organize your apps just like we have a folder here so you can have multiple folders and to create a folder you just need to hold an app and drag it onto other one and it will create a folder you can rename the folders based on your preferences so it is a pretty cool and neat UI easy to use and very very comfortable for even the entry level users you can just pinch like this and reorganize your home screens you can switch between the home screens add or subtract home screens so it gives you a very easy and intuitive way of using and interacting the phone one more important factor that matters a lot for most smartphone buyers is the battery life with an efficient processor and a 2500 milliamp large battery this phone should be able to last one full day without major problems because for a 5 inch full high definition phone 2500 milliamp battery is usually larger than the usual that you find on most smartphones so it will give you one full day easily and last but not the least pricing this phone is going on sale in November end in 2014 at a price of 2699 that is approximately 27000 rupees at this price a phone of this caliber and this performance is really a good value. It gives you not only good performance and display but also gives you a style statement. The way you can carry it 
it complements your style because it is slim it is good looking it comes with a beautiful display and comes with superb set of cameras as well so if you want to purchase this one it is a thumbs up from us on a scale of 10 i'll give it an 8.5 because of the sheer performance and good value it delivers in almost all the areas this is all i have on my detailed review of the huawei ascent p7 if you think i have missed some points and you want to know something more about this phone don't forget to put a comment in the comment section below and we'll come back with follow-up videos if you like this video and if you this video helped you making up your mind please press the thumbs up button below this video and give us a like for more such videos make sure you hit the subscribe button below this video we have done some more videos on this phone i'm leaving a link to the playlist on top of your screen and if you want to purchase one for yourself i'm leaving some best buy links here on your screen this is all we have on this one this is your host Roit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.